Yo, what's up, everybody? This is your boy Iba. Yes, yes, I. So, um, in this video, I'm not going to do any reaction video kind of thing. I'm just going to talk to you guys and, um, you know, just a normal advice. And um, I think that um, it might be useful in one way or the other. Like, did I feel bored? You know, I've been indoors the whole day. So, I just feel like, hey, let me just put a content out there. So, it's just gonna be a vibe like with you guys and <laughs> if you, you you plan to come to russia then i think you should watch this video and um, if you just if you're just curious to know more about russia then i think just put it on and maybe continue doing whatever you are doing and just listen to my crap i don't think it's crap though but just listen to my nonsense no i don't think it's nonsense but just listen, listen to my noise <laughs> no no i don't think it's noise but yeah just listen to me yeah so um a lot of people ask me why did i decide to come to russia uh, to pursue my education of course um uh, before that um i just want to address this you know issue oh this i want to answer this question because everybody asks me so um why are you in russia like why do you come which program do you study so it's just going to be a little profile about me and um i think that um yeah, just something small but I think I want to make a very good video on this topic so this with this one is just gonna be a noise as I said noise so I'm just gonna talk to the camera and just probably upload or not so yeah I decided to move into Russia after you know um, my, my first degree in Ghana you know and um, you know, when I moved to Russia, first of all, I didn't want to come to Russia because there are a lot of, you know, misconception about these people. You, you get me? I remember, you know, someone asked me, so, you couldn't go to any country apart from Russia. You, are you going to learn how to do bombs, you know? Like, uh, you know, uh, Russian mafia, like black Russian mafia, <laughs> you know? But, um, yeah, of course, you know, I believe that in, in, in your life, if you are supposed to accomplish something, if this is your role in life, like this is what you have to do, you know, if you are destined to do this, definitely you do it. So I believe that is part of my life package, you know, the past also, I'm supposed to be here for a while, so I'm definitely here. So um, sometimes when people ask me, why did I come to Russia? I don't have any tangible reason to give, all right, because I think it's, I just, I came, I'm here, so, but whilst I'm here, I'm trying to also help other people to come here, so uh, most, you know, people who really know me knows that um, I run a company called Nikon Services, and Nikon Services helps students or people, you know, out of Russia who wants to study in Russia or wants to, you know, do something in Russia, you know, so if you will, if you have interest in studying in Russia, uh, you can contact the con services and um, they will help you get you know um, they will make sure they, they, are, they are going to assist you and the process is going to be very easy from um, um, visa acquisition or admission visa acquisition uh, pickup service and all this thing they will be actually going to make um, they're actually going to help you out you like so just go check them out and it's not only they don't only help you know foreigners to come to Russia you know, they have other countries that um, you know they um, assist applicants to actually further their education in so that's just by the way so because of that you know um, I decided to come here and I'm here and I'm helping people to also study here successfully and I also help you know you know promote content you know just to educate people about life in Russia so basically I believe that I'm destined to be here for a while yeah so um, people would say that um, how is the weather? The weather is quite good. Um, I've been here for almost, I think, three, three to four years. Uh, yeah, yeah, early, you know, I'm actually on my fourth, early stage of my fourth year. Yeah, so I think I've learned much about Russians and, you know, um, their culture, like the Russian people. Actually, when I say culture, I believe you, most of you understand, like, the way of life, how they live. So now I understand how Russians live. And of course, I have also experienced a lot of things, you know, I've experienced either the negative and the positive energy from them. So I believe that I'm a good candidate to also advise you. So what I'm going to do is that if you have a specific question, 
in mind that you want me to make a video on please leave it in the comment below and uh, i'll go to uh, you know attend to it so as i said this video i don't have, i don't know the topic for this video i'm just talking to a camera and talking to you maybe if uh, maybe only that's that might be possible if i decide to post it <laughs> but i don't know sometimes i just want to you know record myself you know you know try to educate you guys so yeah so i came to russia um that's in 2017 of course changing environment you know because of the changing environment i realized that the weather was so harsh for me so basically um i need to battle with the changing environment it was so damn cold you know when i came in and um um as you know as time passes by i realized that i was adapt uh, adapting to it that you know i you know because I, I you know i met friends who helped me or assisted me to buy you know some you know uh jacket and you know the basic or the necessities yeah so of course the weather was cold but as time passes by it was cool and let me <laughs> tell you something the first time i experienced snow i was on my way to the international office and when i was coming i just on the, on my way to the, the the hostel the snow started falling i was like really so this is snow my goodness oh this is snow jeez like ice like it was it was an experience you know interesting experience for me but of course you know um it, i i was so glad that i experienced that so um yeah so i don't know what to say but of course i studied mm, so when i came in i had to study russian language for a while before i start the language itself like to start my program itself and i think there was a miscommunication somewhere so my program the main reason why i came here was to actually further do a program um to further my education in cyber security because i realized that when it when temp, when talk of security internet security or cyber security is russia you know but unfortunately there was a miss you know miss miss you know missing i, I don't want to say misinformation or the the connection didn't it, it was not successful at that moment yeah so I, I was supposed to you know study i think information systems you know and I was like, no, information system isn't my kind of thing, but, but I'm very good at information system. Like, trust me, like, I don't know, information system is, is a reading thing and I, and I like to talk much, explain things. So information system, I felt like it was not, I wanted to get my hands dirty, like, yeah, because my daddy likes, you know, forensics, forensics, yeah. When you watch detective movies, it's like, ah, yeah, you know you guys come you know because he likes to investigate so i thought like me choosing the it field like i before coming here I was a bachelor degree holder so i realized that i'm already in the field so i can pursue something in computer you know cyber security which will get me you know investigating things you know so that at least i like it but i want my, my daddy to to be happy you know so oh yeah so basically that 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 is a you know came in studied the russian language for some time it wasn't helping because you know it's quite to have master degrees two years and it's, it's it was challenging you know even though i was studying very hard you know i realized that it was challenging you know and it's gonna be damn challenging if i decide to further like my education in russian you know so well blah 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 we changed course i i, I studied I realized I could not study the cyber security in uh, in English, so I needed to study software engineering. So I studied software engineering. I liked it, but no, 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 no. It was you know the language you know was was a barrier. Of course, I know the basics. I knew the basics. I can vibe. I can communicate. But there there are times that I could not really grasp. Like it was challenging for me. So I decided to change to english program yeah that is innovative software systems development and design so that's the ish yeah so basically yeah i transferred you know from one school to the other and i graduated successfully and um yeah i am so someone was asking me also well, what's russian life how do they live of course russians are cool people like 
if you've been watching my videos i've always been saying this like they are so dependent like they don't really rely on other people and they have these close boundaries so if they don't know you they don't bring you in unless there's mutual interest or yeah yeah so yeah so basically russians are cool yeah but there are people some of them are very stubborn yeah some of them are racist some of them are stubborn and i believe it's 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 everywhere so i cannot say that all the russians are like that yeah so someone will also ask ah, how is the life after school hmm. that is actually a very big question yeah of course the world pandemic affected everybody's plan unfortunately i graduated very well and with this graduation it has to be done virtually so um i think that it still affected me you know and it's still affecting me but i believe that the world should expect something big from me you know because for me i i don't know i just i don't want to do something small just to be satisfied like I want to impact the world, I want to change life, I want something that will be valued by everybody. So just relax, I will not talk about my future plans, I'm not talking about what I'm doing right now, but I would say that um, if you are a foreigner and um, you graduate, if you have the means to stay, you can stay, but if you want to go home, you can go home as well, it's, it's individual decision. So. But it depends on, you know, like for instance, if, 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 if you've lived here for some time, you have connection, good, good contacts, you think you can survive, you can be, you know, you can make it here, fine, you can stay. But um, I cannot really advise people to stay here because um, there are just few courses that actually opens up for... Uh, employing you know there are just just few areas that can really employ you so if you so only few field will, will accept foreigners especially you being black because russian one problem is that they don't really um they don't really accept foreigners like they not accept but it's hard for them to no they don't really trust foreigners all right unless you are not you know um yeah, that is it. Do not trust foreigners, you know? For them to really employ you into their business, it's so hard. It's the most difficult thing you can ever go through. Forget about your excellence, you know, forget about your level of intelligence. It's very, unless you have contact, you know someone who is in charge of this and you are cool with the person, then they can put you in. But for you to be a fresh graduate, you all dressed up, you are searching for a job, brother. Stop doing that. You need to. All, you can only get employed if it's in a foreign country, like a foreign company, which is established in Russia. And you can just um, get your way around that because they are foreigners. And you know, foreign businesses employ, you know, um, all races. So, so if all race, yeah, and you can, you can be in. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. What else? Well, I don't know. I'm interviewing myself. So basically, um, yeah. So, um, we're Russian girls. Let's talk about Russian. Yeah, last two days, I posted a video about how Russian girl helped me to waste money, and it still stands. You know. So, I think I have to sit somewhere and make a very good video about how Russians, you know, Russian girls get alone because it's very serious and trust me we are foreigners so we are always vulnerable especially you being a community or um, a country where you don't really get people to communicate with like you don't get you know like if you are a country you can vibe you can understand the system very well so when someone opens up a little bit you fall victim so it's actually a huge topic that I'm, I am I may or might no I think I may no I, no, no no I'm gonna work on that video okay I want to take time to really address the issues one after the other because this video is just a normal comment. I'm just telling my mind, okay? So, um, well, that is it for now. Or oh, if you have something, do you have something else you want me to say? Nothing. Yeah. Do you want me to say something? Nothing. Okay. So, um, 
Russian food, trust me, that is also a very big issue. Um, well, now I have adapted to it, so I enjoy their meal. Um, I like borscht, I like um, uh, plof. Um, I don't usually eat different kinds of food, you know, I stick to, you know, I, I like manka, you know, manka, you know, prepared like bangkun, it's so good, you know. So, of course, um, it's, it's a challenge, but once you live in the system for a while, it's, you become used to it. So I believe that that isn't a problem, yeah, yeah. And education-wise, so I was having a cool um, uh, discussion with someone about Russian education system, and you know, um, you know, um, the grading system, you know, and you know, we had a cool and a, a very serious, graduate, you know, discussion pertaining to this because I think that um, if you are studying in Russian medium. You, it's different from you studying in English medium and I'm gonna work on this video I said this one I'm just talking I'm just this you know this 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 video is actually going to help me get more topics to actually talk about or address because it's been a while since I did this and I just want to you know talk 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 so I have a lot of videos coming up bro I have a lot but I'm gonna take it easy because I want the video to be um, 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 uh, first of all, I want it to be quality. Um, I want I want the quality to be very high, and um, and I want the information to be valid. I want the information to 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 be legit. You understand? And I don't want to joke around with such video. So um, at least keep this. Take this one as a this crazy boy talking on your screen. Okay. I don't know what to say right now. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. 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 <laughs> but you know, I like I like Russia because you know Russians are cool. They are very loyal. Yeah. If if they get to know you, trust me, they are so loyal. They are so good. You know. But the facial expression, mm, you know, um, sometimes turns people off. You know. But. They are cool. When you get to know them, they are cool. Yeah? And also, it's full dope to be black. Because they really, you know, appreciate you. And there are some privileges that you enjoy that, you know, their own you know, natives don't, don't enjoy. So, living in Russia is quite good. It has the, you know, downside and the, you know, upside. So, I think that um, enough for now. I'm going to work for another video for you. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video. I think if you find this video useful, you can just give me a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't joined my community, please join. Um, if you think I'm crazy enough that I've won your interest, then you can subscribe. Yeah. And um, until next time, this is your only black man, the Chorny Ruski. Um, and what else? Charlie, now I need to even think of a motto or you know a slogan or you know something else, yeah, because the vibe is there, yeah. So thank you so much for watching my video and I appreciate your time. You know, spending time to watch my nonsense. It's it's it's, it's, it's so loving, you know. Thank you so much. God bless you and I appreciate you all. Peace out. This is your boy in my billions. Peace out.